Hi guys, welcome back. I could sit in this chair for a thousand years and watch the woods consume. Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I make a ton of plus size fashion content just like this one. I also have a bunch of other lifestyle content, mommy content, decor videos, cook with me videos, all that type of stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and join our little family. And if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England. I also have a TikTok. There's only a couple videos on there, but it's been really fun to create on there as well. And I will rem try to remember my name and put it up as well. Um, anyway, today's video is a plus size fashion haul. I haven't done one in a little bit and I thought fall is here. I'm so ready for colder weather and it's my favorite time to shop for clothes so I decided to do lots of shopping. Now if you don't already follow me on a fig you absolutely need to. Fig is a plus size fashion um, website. It's almost like a Pinterest meets TikTok kind of thing slash Instagram. I don't really know how to describe it but um, I worked with them in the past before. I love them. This video isn't sponsored or anything by them at all um, But I post all the time on there. So if you are looking for more uh, fashion content, definitely check out my fig account I will have that linked below um, and I did do reviews on all of These clothes on there as well as a bunch of other stuff that I haven't even posted on here So if you're looking for more stuff go check out my fig account and follow me on there. I love it on there It's so much fun Anyway, okay, so I'm going to show you this haul I decided to shop at Walmart. I haven't shopped at Walmart for a minute. And oh my gosh, guys, this is probably the largest Walmart haul. It's like, it's filled, filled to the brim with clothes. It is the largest Walmart haul I think I've ever done. So sit back, enjoy. I'm gonna try to not take a million years while I go through each item. Um, but you know, grab yourself a little beverage, a snacky poo if you need to. This is my It's Spooky Season cup that I got on Etsy this year. It's so gosh darn cute. I bought so many mugs and cups on Etsy. And it's made me so happy. So, we're going to dive in. Um, all of the try on videos are all filmed for Fig. And so you'll see it muted and my mouth will be moving. Just know that I use the same uploads for Fig. Um, and I didn't film separately so just know that I'm not, you're not supposed to hear me talking in the try-ons. I did mute them for a reason, but that's why that I'm talking in them. All right, we're just gonna get started with this first item. And it is this giant sweater. So this is from No Boundaries, which is um, a junior's line at Walmart. Now they have a plus line in No Boundaries and they also just have a regular line. I buy from both. It just kind of depends. This was actually from the plus line. This is giant. Um, it is so big. I did size up because a lot of times, and you'll see with a lot of the No Boundary stuff, it runs very small. Um, so I did size up to a 2X in this and I could have sized down to probably a large. Um, it is so so oversized. It's super super stretchy really really soft cozy cardigan I love the like boho vibe of this. It makes me think of like Joshua tree or something. It's so cute I love the color. I love the print. It's really really cozy This is definitely like a longer kind of duster style cardigan It would look so cute just like on the go or dressed up dressed down like I love it I think it's a really cozy really warm piece um, the price was about I do believe this was it says $17.98, but I want to say it was like 14 on sale um, It's a really really nice cardigan I feel like it's well made and it would last for a number of years, but I would absolutely absolutely size down Do not size up on this because it's even like it's just too oversized if that makes any sense um, But I do really like it and it did come in different prints uh, We'll talk about the piece that I'm wearing right now. This is just this black um sweater top I don't, it's like in between a sweater and like a regular top it is so soft so cozy and warm but i'm not hot which is what i really like when it comes to sweaters because we live in texas and it just like goes from zero to 100 really 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 quickly um and i don't know i really really love it i just think it's so cute and so cozy i love the slit right here i feel like it's just like kind of unique and cool um i know these like slits are becoming a bit more popular but i just 
just I don't have anything like it so I just really enjoyed it I love that it's kind of like a diagonal and kind of off-centered it is like a semi mock neck um, not totally super high but it has a little bit of like a little a little collar here um, and then the sleeves are nice and poofy um, and they're just, it's just so cute I highly recommend I think this is such a cute piece and it's something you could easily dress up dress down like it's just like a nice sweater and I really really enjoy it so I would highly recommend this one um, I love it I will be keeping this bad boy it's also really really stretchy and really comfortable I love it right, moving on to another no boundaries piece now this was again in the plus size line um, everything I got in the plus size line was too big and everything I got in the regular sizes straight sizes was too small so that was enjoyable um, I got this skirt and it's this beautiful faux suede fully buttoned down like you can totally completely like just unbutton it all the way down um it is really really nice quality for a no boundaries piece it was really inexpensive um i don't know if it came in other colors i want to say it did but i may be off about that but i want to say it did come in other colors but it's this really pretty almost like apple cider type of just makes me think of apple cider. This will be so cute for Thanksgiving, for pumpkin patch visits, for family photos. I really, really like it. The only issue was that I got way too large of a size. So I got a 3X because I'm so used to shopping on Shein where everything is like two to three sizes too small or smaller than your regular size. And so I just like size up now and like everywhere else I shop and it ends up being sometimes the perfect fit, sometimes completely off. Um, and this was just one of those items that just was completely, completely off. Um, it was just way too big in the waist. It would just constantly like fall down. But the, the type of fabric, it's not necessarily staticky, but it's like, I'm worried that if I size down to a 1X, which is probably what I need for my waist, um, because I want to wear it a little bit higher, I feel like it would just cling to like all of the parts I wouldn't want it to. So I don't know. I'm on the fence if, if I want to try to find a smaller size and go that way or if I'm just going to return it. But I'm looking for a really pretty um, like rust colored skirt just like this one. I love it with the black. Like this is just so cute to me like black and brown which my husband my husband literally hates that combination, but I love black and brown, breaking the fashion rules. Um, but I also just think it's like so pretty and goes really well with creams and other different brown tones um, and navies. So I feel like this is such a nice skirt. I'm just worried about the size difference. So I may end up ordering a 1X and just going and seeing how it works, but I definitely would stick true to size with this bad boy. It is a really beautiful skirt. All right, I'm taking too long. I need to speed up. Next, I got these pair of Sofia Vergara jeans. These are my first time trying out her jeans from Walmart. They have, her jeans have really good reviews. People normally like constantly talk about them, um, especially for plus size bodies. She definitely buys and shapes, um, what? She designs for curvy bodies, I would say. Um, these are in a size 18 and they're like these flare wide leg jeans. Um, I never thought I would wear a flare again. Never in my life did I think that would happen. I was like skinny jeans for life, flares are out. But of course everything, you know, comes around again. And I actually really like them. I need to get them hemmed because they're a little bit too long. Um, but I actually really, really like them. They're incredibly comfortable. I feel like they are so flattering, especially in the tummy area, which makes me really, really want to try more of her jeans because I love the way they fit right here. I feel like these buttons would be kind of a pain to go to the bathroom in all the time, but for whatever reason, they do a really good job at just like kind of like holding in and creating less of that like very obvious uh, visible belly line, which no hate on that, totally like everyone has bellies, right? Um, but I just don't love, I feel it's like an insecurity for me still. And so um, I feel like this one definitely hides it a little bit better. Um, I actually really like the washing of them. I think these are great jeans. I would highly recommend them. I'm 5'5", five, five, um, and these definitely are a bit too long. But I think with the hem, like they are totally worth it. They're really nice jeans for a good price. I'm excited to try out more of her line because of how well these worked out. Um, they were, tw I, they say 29.50 but I want to say I got them on sale for 27 um, but these are the Melissa high-rise flare right. 
Moving on to another no boundaries item. This was in the straight sizing and I went to a 3X and let me tell you, there is no equivalency in between plus size and straight size. Like why would you make a 3X that's not a 3X? And they're both in junior sizes. It's it's so frustrating. I actually really liked this shirt. It gave me like 90s Buffy, like Willow vibes, slash like Vampire Diaries, like Elena would wear these Henleys that would have like really long cuffs. Do you remember these? I just gave me totally Vampire, Di uh, vi 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 vampire Diaries vibes, Elena meets like 90s Willow. Buffy Vampire Slayer. I love it. I think it was so cute. I love the pattern. It was a nice Henley. The ribbing's really nice. It's actually really comfortable. But this thing literally, I was scared I was just gonna, and it would just rip. Like, I just, it's so frustrating to me. Like, don't say it's a 3X when it's not even close to a 3X. Like, especially, I just, I have a lot of feelings about it. It's very cute, but it would have, shrunken and there was just no way so i'm annoyed i wish that they had this in the plus size line i don't think that they do if they do let me know because i actually really like it a lot of you probably be like that's hideous but i love it i think it's adorable <laughs> moving on to this next top this is from time and true i did get this in a 3x as well and it's too big <laughs> but um I like it a lot. I think it's really, really beautiful, but it's kind of, there's something about it that's just off. Like, I think it's a really beautiful, delicate top, but there's just, the quality of this isn't very good, which is kind of surprising to me because I feel like Time and True typically is pretty consistent with their quality. Um, but I just, I wouldn't recommend this piece necessarily. The sleeves are beautiful. They're really billowy, but they are so thin that just one little snag and it's just like, goodbye. Um, it, this is just not something that will hold up for a very long time. It, you may get through a season with this if you're lucky, but honestly, I wouldn't imagine so. Um, it does have a smocked like uh, chest area, which is nice, especially for the bigger buster ladies like myself, but it's like off. Like it's just like crooked on me in some for some reason. It just doesn't sit right on the chest. So it's going back. I love the neckline. I love the color. I think it's stunning. I think this is such a pretty color for fall. But on me, it's just not. It's just not. The, it's just not a winner. Um, and that's okay. It was fifteen ninety eight. I just. I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest it. All right. Moving on to this top. This was like on clearance, I believe. Um, and this is from the brand. Gray by Grace and Social. I haven't tried anything from this brand before, but I saw this for like $7 and I just thought it was really cute. And it ended up being really cute. So I got this, I believe this is in a 2X? Yes, a 2X. And it is this floral jersey fabric style, style top. It definitely has a bit of flow and give to it. I don't like anything too clingy, you guys know that. So I will always size up before I size down. Um, and I like it. I think it's really cute. It's just a basic top. Like I think it would look really cute with these jeans and some wedges like when the spring and summer rolls around. It'd be cute to add a cardigan for like the fall time. Like I just, I think it's just a really cute delicate top. It has a lot of stretch. Um, it's really cute on, you can wear it off or on the shoulders. I love the ruching in the bust area. The bottom has like the lettuce trim. Um, I just think it's adorable. It's just like a basic top. There's nothing too fancy about it, um, but I really like it. So I'm excited to try this brand more, especially for the price. Like this was a clearance item and I'm, I'm happy with it. I definitely would repurchase more from that brand. All right, moving on. This is an item from Romantic Gypsy. This is another one, um, a brand that I just tried for the first time. I have wanted to try them for a while. There's been a lot of stuff that I've added in my cart over the years, honestly. But they're kind of, they're not expensive, but they're expensive to me for Walmart and I just never wanted to take the gamble because I felt like I never saw anybody else talk about them before. But I saw this one like recommended time and time again on Instagram, so I decided to take the plunge. Let's start just by saying that this top is a stunner. Like I love the actual like plaid fabric. It's almost like a flannel to be honest with you. It is so, so pretty. This just screams pumpkin patch, this screams fall holiday family photos. I love it. I think it's very, very cute. However, on my body type, it just, it's just too much. Like it just is really overbearing and I just feel like I, 
it just it didn't flatter me in any shape way or form it just felt like i was just put a sack on um the quality of the item is really really nice i think that it's really well made the fabric is really nice there's a lot of different like stretch stretchy areas to this piece it's just too much um on me personally i just feel like it made me look incredibly incredibly top heavy now maybe if i'd gone down a size because i did get a 2x in this i wonder if i would have gone down a size i will say it was too big so if i would have gone down a size it might have been better um but i don't know it just wasn't something that i felt like i really loved enough on my shape to even try that but it is beautiful i do think it's a really nice quality top it just didn't work for my frame um so i would recommend it for other people wanting to try it but it just wasn't for me all right, another no boundaries item. I should have learned my lesson. This is another item that was in a 3X. Now this was like size wise fine, um, but it just was a really awkward fit. It's this really pretty, like the color is beautiful. It's a mauvey dusty rose color and it, it's a lace up sweater and it completely laces down like the middle. Um, so you definitely have to probably wear like a cami or something underneath it because you'll be able to see completely through um, the middle section the knit is nice it's kind of looser um, so it's a little bit more aerodynamic if you get too hot um, but i just didn't love it i felt like it was kind of scratchy on it the shape was really awkward it was a little bit too short so it hit me in a weird area on my hips and it just made me feel really lumpy and bumpy like i just didn't feel like this flattered me in any way um which was sad because i really liked this color and i liked the idea of it but it just did not do anything for me and i honestly i don't know i don't know it just wasn't it wasn't a keeper it's going back another no boundaries fail at least in the straight sizes all right this next piece was from free assembly this is a stunning dress. This was my first item for Free Assembly as well. I've wanted to try their pieces for a while. They're another brand on Walmart that is not like necessarily expensive. It's decently priced, um, but it's just expensive for Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Like I just felt like it was a little pricey, um, but I, for good reason. I feel like the quality of these items are really, really, really nice. I got this beautiful plum dress with this floral like daisy style print on it. Um, it is kind of like ruched, or I mean, uh, cinched in the sleeves and so they're kind of billowy and puffy. It has like this kind of cut out on the bust area almost where it's kind of framed a little bit. I don't know how to else describe that. Um, but I, I think this dress is stunning. It's really beautiful. Again, this would be perfect for Thanksgiving, for fall photos. I feel like it's really, really flattering. It screams Miss Honey from Matilda to me. I really like it. Um, I do believe they have similar prints for um, kids, at least for little girls. If you want to do like mommy me photos or for like family photos, like I said, I really like it. This was in a 3X and I feel like it definitely was totally fine size wise. It didn't run small. If anything, it ran a little bit big. Um, I could have probably gone with the 2X and have been just fine. I really like this piece. I think it's beautiful. I'm excited to try more from their line um, because I think that they will be worth it. All right, moving on. Okay, this set was another one from No Boundaries, and I um, got it from the plus size line, and it is just way too big. I decided to size it up to a 4X. I don't really know what I was thinking. Um, again, the plus size was too big, the straight sizes were just too small. Um, I really liked it. It had a lot of potential. It was a two-piece set. It's this sweater set. Um, it looks like this. It has this really pretty brown um, and rust and cream stripes through it. Um, and then there's a matching sweater top. Again, it's just way, way, way too big. The top is just really ill-fitting, just kind of like weirdly hangs on me, which is my fault. It's kind of like a buyer's error to me because I just, if had I gone gotten the correct sizing, I don't think it would have been bad. However, I actually really loved the sizing of the skirt because it didn't cling. It didn't make it look really weird and awkward. I thought it hung really well on my body and could be really like a really good potential item. But the only issue was that the top was so big and you can't buy them separately. So I would have to buy another set to just get the right size in the top and I couldn't 
keep you know it just it just wasn't worth it I, I wish I could have like bought separate sizings in the top and bottom because of how well the skirt fit but the top was just way too big really cute I do believe it comes in different colors like I wouldn't write it off I should have tried different sizes and gone down um, but I just I don't know okay another fail <laughs> were these Tara and Sky leggings I was really excited for these. I saw them online. I love a good faux legging, especially dupes for the Spanx ones because they're so expensive. And I was hoping that these would be those, and they are not. First off, um, it may come off on camera of them looking more of like a faux legging material, but in person, it just looks like, like, a, like a frosted legging, for lack of better words. It's like a shiny legging. This doesn't look like a faux leather in any shape wear form to me in person um it also is the weirdest cut um so it goes up really high in the waist but really low in the back and then there's like this seam right across the like waist and hips area and since it goes so low in the back it like hits halfway across my butt cheeks and it's just a really awkward fit it's not flattering it's like baggy in weird spots but tight in other spots these were just a total total fail on all accounts I will not be repurchasing I will not be I mean I will be returning for sure but I also would not even try to go in a different size I just these were not these were not the ones which is sad because I really want some more faux leggings this however was a beaut and was a definitely recommendation this is from Eloqui Elements line. Um, Eloqui recently, well not so recently, I feel like it's been a little bit, brought, brought a line out um, that is a little bit more budget friendly on Walmart and they came out with this beautiful skirt that was just like blowing up all over social media. And it's this rust colored pleated skirt and it's kind of in a shark, you're not gonna be able to see really well, but it's in a shark bite um, cut and the hem. And it's just stunning. Like the quality of this skirt is exceptional. It's definitely Eloqui quality, even though it's a cheaper price point. Um, it is so beautiful. The color just like pops. I think it's perfect for Thanksgiving again, for family photos, um, all of those events coming up, especially if it's the first Thanksgiving you're having back with your family after the pandemic. I know so many of us are looking forward to having a different type of holiday season this year um and this would be perfect to wear to thanksgiving it's absolutely stunning it would be plenty enough to have some space if you want to eat a lot of extra turkey and don't want to feel constricted afterwards i definitely would recommend i got this in a size 14 16 and i really like it i think it's beautiful um it's incredibly comfortable i would recommend we're down to the last couple of items and these are some of my favorites so now this little set you buy separately so this is one something that you can change sizes on um but i've got the same sizes in both of them and it's oversized because i did size up to a 3x it's from time and true it's definitely oversized but i love it it's this adorable daisy embroidered sweatshirt it's in black. This one is super baggy, super oversized, really, really comfortable. It's fleece lined on the inside. Um, I love it. I cannot wait to, when the weather cools down, this is absolutely my like carpool, mom, school pickup, driving outfit. Um, I honestly want to All right, this, this is the second to last item and it is perfect for the holidays coming up. So if you're looking for some holiday outfits, this is the one for you. This is a beautiful sage green jumpsuit. This is from the brand The Get. This is the first time I was trying from them as well and I'm excited to try them again. Um, this was in a size 2X. I would have sized down. I, I would recommend probably sizing down and just buying true to size. Um, I mean, I would have sized down to my regular size, but I think I'm gonna keep it because I like the extra tummy area, especially for the holidays. Um, but it's this beautiful sage green color, which I think is so, so on trend right now. Um, it's not emerald, it's not forest, it's just this beautiful lighter green. It's coming off darker on camera, but in person, it is just, it's so 
beautiful. I think it's just like a unique color, um, perfect for Christmas and the holiday season. I love it. It's just a long jumpsuit, wide leg, has some pockets, cinches in at the waist, wrap style top, does come unbuttoned, and then it has kind of like little puckered ruched sleeves. Just, it's just a beautiful jumpsuit. I love a good jumpsuit, especially for the holidays. I feel like I'm like trying to get my bra strap to pick it up and it's like not kind of it's definitely something for me that like feels like a holiday <laughs> outfit it's warm and cozy but so cute and fun and i love it i think this is a really really awesome piece it's really really nice quality i think this was only like 35 dollars which i think is a steal um it's beautiful i would recommend this i plan on keeping this um perfect perfect for the holidays coming up and last but not least, probably one of my favorite purchases I've made in a long time. Um, this is the best faux leather jacket I have ever purchased in my life. This is the best leather jacket I've ever purchased. I've never actually purchased a real leather jacket. Um, faux leather is me all the way. But it is the most beautiful, beautiful jacket. It is from Scoop. This thing has incredible ratings for good reason. I have never got something that feels this nice. It is like butter. It is it is like butter. It makes me feel like a like luxury jacket to me. Like what celebrities would buy. Which may be boosting it a bit, but it just feels so good on the body. It's lightweight but it's warm like it's gonna keep you like heat locked in but it's it's like it doesn't feel bulky or heavy the i didn't take off all of the the tissue paper so ignore that but there's so many like fun zippers and pockets and stuff on it i just think it looks really cool but like stylish and elevated the cut is really nice i love everything about this there's not one bad thing that i would say about this thing it is stunning it is worth the money i think it's only like 40 dollars absolutely worth the money this will like go a long long way for the fall and winter season i just think it's so cool like there's nothing nothing bad i could say i used to wear like leather jackets all of the time in high school and college like it was my thing that's all i had like the bomber leather jackets when they were really big during the twilight phase um and in college and it's just i haven't worn one for a number of years now and i miss it like it's just something about a leather jacket especially with like a really cool dress underneath and like black tights and booties i don't know what that that's always like the thing that i want so badly i just love the way that looks it's like super rocker chic and it's just so cool so i love this i would absolutely hands down if you were gonna get one piece from this whole haul i'm showing you it should be this one it is that good you will not be disappointed i like boosted this up so much you guys are gonna get it and be like i hate it this is crap <laughs> Anyway, um, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hopefully it didn't take too long. I think I did pretty good. Maybe not. I don't think it was that bad. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I haven't done a plus size fashion haul in a while. It was just nice to sit down with you. Like I said, I do have a lot of hauls on Fig. Um, I buy a lot of clothes a lot. And sometimes I don't share them with you. Sometimes I end up like hating everything and just feeling like this is a, a wasted video or I only buy a couple items at one place not fill a video so um, it's really fun to be able to post on there so you can see all of the different things that I end up actually purchasing and things that I end up keeping um, or returning and exactly how they look so I would recommend checking them out again it's not a sponsored I video I just really love fake I think it's an awesome awesome tool and website so I like rip my no that was just a weird sound okay um, that is it for this video. Keep your eyes out because soon the holiday videos will start rolling out. I'm so excited to get a jump start on all of them. I've already started Christmas shopping. I've got some stuff in. I'm so excited to share the stuff with you this year. I hope you guys are excited as well. I know so many of you really just subscribe to my channel for those videos every year and don't worry, they're coming. I also am going to make kind of like a collective haul slash review i guess not haul but just review of all of the christmas gifts last year that were really big hits things that we really loved and i would recommend slash gifts that i would probably not recommend buying this year um i just think that would be really helpful because i buy so much stuff obviously from my kids my husband i get gifts 
I think it's a cool idea to be able to show you what we actually used, what actually was worth the money, all that type of stuff later on. So if you are interested in that and want to see what we ended up being like, yes, absolutely get it this year, or no, don't get it, then you should watch the video it'll be coming up soon i just can't figure out what to title it so if you have any good suggestions please leave them below because for the life of me i can't figure it out all right that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>